Hey guys, so I had mentioned a couple times that I use Google to or Google Calendar to keep track of everything that I do. And I guess, let, let me restate that. Um, usually between the hours of eight and five, I'm doing some sort of work and I don't record like, hey, work. So that's not in here. So you'll see the white space, basically the white space between eight and five is usually I'm doing some sort of work. Now, the other things that I put in here are things that I know that I want to do on a um, some sort of reoccurring basis and I want to get them done and make sure that um, they don't fall through the cracks. So I'm just gonna start right here on uh, this coming up Monday. So I put in there every day, I've got workout and I have an M. So this is the Monday workout. So I usually get up at 6 a.m. I don't have anything written in 6 a.m., but I do do a lot of stuff between six and seven. And uh, some of that is um, prepping the day. Some of that is a little bit of work. Some of that is uh, seeing the kids off to school. And then I hop in the car and I go to the gym. So about 7 a.m., I should put possibly in here a drive to the gym or maybe extend this a bit. But anyway, this 7.30 a.m. workout on Monday this is the class I'm going to go to. If for some reason I can't do that, um, let's say something happens and I've got to, I don't know, let's say I, I had a meeting pop up. Let's see, I gotta go to the doctor, right? So I'm gonna put that in there instead. So I'm gonna take this workout and I can't put it at 8.30 because the doctor usually takes longer. So I'm gonna move it to 9.30 and then just this event, and then I'm gonna have to take all of these other guys and start moving them around. So do I really wanna to go to Black Rifle Coffee right after that to talk to them about the level two coming up and getting them to give us a, or, or buying a bunch of coffee and whatnots from them? Yes, I do, because it's right across from the gym. So I would take that and slide it right to here, right? So this, I would start re, I don't really wanna adjust my day because this is fake, but <laughs> I would move that down. I do have a note in here to go to Joseph A. Bank because I have a buddy's wedding coming up and I this has been moved multiple times. So if I can't do it, I'll grab it and let's say I'm gonna slide it right here. So now I'm gonna get it done this day. Um, I've moved this around enough that I'm gonna have to do it in the middle of the day because I just keep not doing it and his wedding is in two weeks. So I really need to go and get something. Um, I've got this uh, 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 reminder for myself to do this. This was from a long time ago. I put it sometime in August when the kids had started school. So maybe I'll do this here, maybe not. Um, I know, like I said, I'll be working between, I don't know, to about five o'clock, I don't know. So all this white space is stuff that I would be doing. Other work stuff that's not necessarily um, mandated or time-based. It's just things I know I need to get done. So anyway, this module bit, I may do right here or I may not. Um, I got uh, study... Uh, CrossFit, so I'm trying to get my level three. So I do have some opportunities to study CrossFit. So that might happen. It might not. Um, it's I know I want to do it, but let's see. I gotta remove this stuff so I don't forget <laughs> that it's not real. But these are overlapping, so they definitely can't happen. So do I want to do it? I'll put me in the car. I'm gonna be sweaty. Do I want to go to Joseph A. Bank next? That's probably not going to happen right away. So I'm gonna move that down. Put CrossFit study. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna move that event because I do that every week. And then that should give me enough time to get there, go to just do the, the, the fitting and then get back, right? So then I'll probably put this, let's put it right there. So do that, right? There's probably some drive time in there. So this looks like a pretty good day for Monday. Some of the things I need to get done. Again, white space is just normal work. I, I'm not gonna block, um, like I, for the kids, I might do this. I might put in there and say uh, school right? Let me change it to family or I'll put it as Levi. Save. And then I could, you know, do like what something like that. But that's just kind of dumb because he's going to do that every day and he knows that that's blocked out. So it doesn't make sense to put school in like that. Now, what you could do in here also is change it to it repeats every weekday. So this is the stuff that I'm doing all the time to build out a schedule. Uh, let me delete that because he doesn't want that in there. Oops delete all events. There we go. Um, also the green is, um, Evan. And so I can take him out. Boom. He's gone. Brown is Evie. So I could click her stuff and remove her. Uh, and then, you know, we got other colors, but I know that Evie doesn't drive. So I need to see her schedule because I am the one typically driving her. So she's got cross country practice and soccer practice, and you can link those schedules. So if you look over here on the left, I've got her latest schedule hot linked in. So it's going to um, auto um, dump um, her schedule, her soccer schedule anyway, into here. Okay, so let's look at a Tuesday. So I know that I've got Bible study. We meet at seven. I put it at 630 so I can make sure I drive there. We usually go till about eight. So I leave it at 830 because we usually go long. 
I know I want to walk the dogs. And so I took off the Tuesday workout. So this guy doesn't exist over here on Tuesday because I'm driving Evie to soccer. So I'm going to run the trail instead. And I got this big block out for uh, Evie at soccer. Um, there's other things that I'm doing in here. Uh, this is a block of work I do for the gym that I will always forget to do it. So I've set it up so that it um, actually uh, occurs. So I will do it. So I got like right here, gym tasks. So if I open that up, it uh, recurs every Tuesday and it's about the same time. And then uh, if I want to move it around because I can't do it, I can. But I always like Tuesday is a day that I get a lot of that work done. And I wanted it to show up as a very specific task. And if I don't do it, I want to move it to get it done. There's other things in here. Let's see, what did I add? Some Tico Roadmap. So there's, uh, you know, pay for college. Uh, I have that recurring once a year, or actually it's whenever the semester happens. Um, I have a reminder for myself to send an email on the lifter class. So this is probably only gonna happen one time and it probably isn't gonna take 30 minutes, but I still put it in there because I want to do it and I'm going to forget to do it. It's probably a 15 minute uh, thing, but anyway. So you see that things are blocked and if something comes up, I'm still like, I can take this workout and I can, well, I'm coaching, so I can't put it here, but I can say, hey, I'm gonna work out at four o'clock instead. And you know, I can't do that because I'm coaching and that'd be weird. So it's still gonna stay there. But this is what I'm talking about when I ask you guys, uh, block stuff off. I, I wouldn't put in there work because you're obviously going to work. But I would put in there things that are important. Like right over here, I do have, a, whoops, crap. I've got a half day of school for the kids. So I need to remember that <laughs> there's a half day. So somebody has to pick them up. Levi drives, so I probably don't have to pick them up. Um, I have a, a, my Georgia Tech buddies are meeting on Saturday. But Evie has a cross country race and so I, I'm gonna be the one driving her, right? So drive, that's my job. And we usually get there early, so I'm just gonna block it off for this because I don't know uh, where the meet is and I don't know how long it's gonna take. But now I know that, hey, I need to wake up and drive. I can't set something up else up. I need to let them know that, hey, I may be late because I'm driving my kid, right? So this is how I'm using the calendar to kind of block things out. And I'll go to the, let me go to the next week. So I can already tell some things are getting chunked up. So I know I want to go to Costco's to get some supplies, but I want to set up a worm project. So I'm going to move that guy over right there. Let's see. I don't see anything really overlapping too badly. Um, so that's fine. So I can look ahead of my weeks. Uh, let's see. Prep, L2, checklist. So that's going to... Yeah. So anyway, you know, there's some things that are overlapping a little bit right here, but... Um, the main thing is using these blocks, and let's see, let me show you how you can create an event. Let me go to more options. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know, test, whatever. And you can set this up to repeat daily, every Monday. Since I picked the second Monday, it'll do that, or it's annually on the 14th, or every day, or you could customize it. It's gonna be Monday and Tuesday, and I wanna stop it on this day, or it's only gonna happen this many times, right? So you could set all those up. It's super easy, and once you get your schedule moving like this, it um, helps you stay on track and not overbook. So if you have trouble, in this case, uh, many of you guys are asking like, hey, how do I make sure I get to the gym? So I own the place, and I still block what I need to do, right? And I actually have some notes in here for things that I'd like to do. I don't always do it, but they're in my list. So if I pull it up, I'm like, oh yeah, this is how I do those things. This is a knees over toe guy. I was trying to um, see if that would help my torn meniscus. And it looks like the knees over toe guy is really just for MCL, ACL. It doesn't really do much on the meniscus. But anyway, you can see how that's going. I can remove you know, kids from there. I can remove other calendars, so it's just me. If you're a family, then it's, super, it's very helpful to keep it all color-based. Um, if it's just you, then I would use the colors to denote different things. But um, I, I am the red, at least as it shows up for me, I am red. And so this is what I do. If you guys have questions on how to use it, let me know. I'm not an expert, but I definitely use the snot out of it and um, can give you guys some suggestions. I would block your time. So if you want to go to the gym at 4 o'clock every day, put it in there. If you want to go to the gym at uh, 7.30 a.m. class every day, put it in there. And if things come up, just slide it around, right? And if you're thinking to yourself, wow, my schedule's so unpredictable, I can't do that. I, it's, 
It's only like that at the beginning. If you start doing this, you're going to find that it's really not that unpredictable. Typically on a Tuesday, this thing is going to happen and maybe it moves a little bit, but you could just shift it, right? So you just, you just grab the block and move it to wherever you need it to be. And then you can start rearranging your day. So I, before I go to bed, I come in here and I look, right? Then when I wake up in the morning, usually the first thing I do is come back and say, did anything change? Did I make a mistake? So I'm looking at this at night and in the morning, maybe only like five minutes because once you get used to doing this, it's pretty easy. And having some little overlap is okay. Like right here, I got feed the chickens. Usually I do that right after walking the dogs. Um, and then uh, um, it doesn't always happen like that. Like, and there might be while walking the dogs, I'm on a conference call. So I do try to plan conference calls in like, be smart about it. It does. It, am I the most important person on the call? If I am, then I could probably be walking my dogs and nobody's going to care because nobody's going to call me out on, hey, you're walking your dogs. What's up with that? Um, Speaking of dogs, here comes one into my office. So, of course, that may not be the best use of your time. If it's just a conference call and you're catching up, then totally fine. If you need to be on your computer, obviously, you can't walk your dogs to do that. All right. If you need help with that, let me know.